everyone. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do my pastry today because next week I'm going to have a, a pie week. So I'm going to show you how to do my pastry. I know a lot of people say, oh, can't do pastry. Well, just do it this way. And I've been doing it for many, many years and not had a bad one yet. So in here, I've got a pound of plain flour, always plain flour for pastry, and about a half teaspoon of salt. And here I've got, uh, you probably think, oh, why aren't you using cheese to make pastry? It's not cheese, it's butter. And I've, what I do is I just get, this butter came out of the freezer about uh, 10 minutes ago, and I grate the butter. It makes the pastry really, really nice. So I've got a pound of flour in here. I've got four ounces of butter there, and I like to use um, a shortening, you know, that you can uh, that you can buy, not lard, but not just solid lard, but uh, a shortening, it's a bit lighter. So I'm going to put four ounces of that in, and I'm just going to put the butter that's been grated, which will be really nice and easy to um, grate into the flour. And then what you need to do is cold hands and a cold bowl and then just lift it up as you're rubbing it into the flour and it doesn't matter if you don't rub all the butter into the flour because it makes it a little bit flaky and it feels it feels really nice and cold because everything's been in the fridge you can put your bowl in the fridge if you like and uh, just I never use a mixer to make um, pastry I always just do it this way because it's 10 minutes you'll have it done and um, I always make a pound of pastry at a time one pound of flour four ounce butter four ounce of shortening because it's easy to do and then you can just freeze it it will need to rest for an hour in the fridge if you plan to uh, use it later on but I'm just making it today and then uh, next week I'm going to do pies. So I plan to do a steak and kidney pie, a cheese and onion pie, um, leek and uh, chicken pie, plate meat pie, pies, 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 and uh, a really nice vegetarian one sweet potato and feta cheese pie with red onion. So that's that's pretty much you know mixed in you just want it Bit like breadcrumbs but you don't have to you don't have to rub every single bit of uh, butter in now the water i mean really it's supposed to be four tablespoons of cold water to every four ounces of flour so it should be 16 16 tablespoons of water to bring this together so but you can't always tell because all the flour is different. Might take less, might take more. One hand, just get one hand and then put the water. So 16 tablespoons in here. I'm not going to put it all in just to see. And then just start to bring it together with one hand. And you actually, you, you can feel it. You know, you want it to come together, but you don't want it to be too, um, too soft and you don't want it to be too stiff either because it'd be hard to roll up. And I can see from that, it's made a nice solid dolp in, the, in there, but it still won't come together the rest of the pastry. So I've put some more water in and then that's really coming together now. So you should, as you just push it round the bowl, keep squeezing it, bringing it together and it should leave your bowl can you see it's coming together now and it's the bowl's virtually clean on one side and I don't think I'm going to need all that water so that's out of 60 tablespoons I don't need it all so don't slap it all in to start off with because you can put it in but you can't take it out and I can I can feel that it's quite soft but it's it's just nice and the bowl is nice and clean so that is a nice bit of pastry 
So I'm just going to roll that into shape there and wrap that with cling film. That's going to go straight in the freezer. Well, I hope I'm going to wrap it in cling film. Let's see if I can find the, the edge of it. Miri, a little tinker. There we go. If I don't, ooh. yeah. So, a bit good wrap. Cling film. That will go nestling in the freezer. And then next week, I'm going to bake some pies. So, thanks for watching. Take pastry ready.